Hi, sweetie pies. It's Robin here. Thanks for coming back to the channel or for being here for the first time. This is your daily spirit message reading for Tuesday, September 12th, or whenever you were guided to watch the reading, okay? I really think that all readings that are posted by any tarot card reader or like spirit interpreter, it's going to be timeless. It's for whenever you happen to find it. So anyway, after, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. I have a really important question before I start breaking down some cards for you. Do you call it soda or pop or soda pop? Please let me know in the comments. I call it soda, but I think that's kind of an American thing. But anyway, I will just shut up. <laughs> we have some really beautiful cards today. Okay, so we saw somebody leaving yesterday and I just want you to know that the universe will always keep you in balance. So if this was going to be somebody that you really depended on for whatever emotional support, financial support, anything, <clears throat> they're going to be replaced by somebody else, okay? Um, I have the three of cups here, so you're not gonna be alone for long, okay? So whatever happens, you're not gonna be without a job for long, you're not gonna be without a partner for long, um, you're just not gonna be without anything for long. And this person is probably going to be a water sign, which is Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And they are radiating sunshine. Like this person, they might seem a little much when you meet them, but they are they are just, I really feel like they're a star seed, okay? And a very, very powerful one, okay? Because we do have the sun card here. So this person obviously is related somehow to the star seed family of light. And they could be so nice that you're like, wow, I just, this person cannot be real, but they definitely are. And we have the Ace of Swords here. So I'm really seeing where this person can infuse you with just really feeling like brilliant. And they could be really complimentary and supportive and just a total opposite of that Seven of Swords person that we saw yesterday. And what's really unfortunate is when we meet people in our lives that they're so beautiful and they're so genuine and we are guided to think, what are they hiding? Like, what do they really want from me? So like, that's kind of some sort of a, a statement on society right now where we kind of trust people that are a little bit creepy, but people that are so beautiful and just emanate all this warmth and love, <clears throat> we're like, really? So. I mean, be standoffish if you want to. This person is not going to change. They're really just going to be amazing. So I'm just going to pull a couple more cards here. So I did pull the Hanging Man. Wow. Okay. And the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So I really want you to challenge yourself when you start meeting people. Because the Hanging Man here, that's called the Hanged Man and Starman. When you're meeting people, it's always good to go with your gut but sometimes your brain kicks in and you're not listening to your gut. So I challenge you to silence your mind and let your body speak to you when you meet people, especially when you think they're being disingenuine because they haven't been sort of tainted by society. And I also see this person as being a really good luck charm. Um, you know, the five of pentacles in reverse, like bringing you out of any sort of lack in your life. And you'd just be so amazed at the difference that one person can make in your life. And for many of you, this could be that person, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. All right, guys, I'm going to go. Take care. Bye.